I want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhak Radash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect who are the house of David, reborn again, and Kwam Yasharala to the house of Israel, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as the Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, I want to give an update on the mark of the beast that we're fastly coming upon. Uh, before I uh, get into the article, let me go ahead and read this scripture. This is Revelations 13 and 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Today, the company known as Apple, whose logo is synonymous for the bitten fruit of the Garden of Eden, announced that they are going to further their Apple Pay system by including something known as the Apple Card. This card is going to ultimately incentivize people to start using these digital currencies that they uh, want people to start moving towards. You're starting to see a lot of this now with companies like the Cash App that they have their own credit cards, PayPal that have an integrated cards, and you're pretty much starting to see the um, removal of the middleman which were the banks. Uh, the companies that are going to be facilitating the bank's old uh, job is going to be these credit card companies and or these uh, tech companies like PayPal, uh, Apple in this case, and so on. But uh, let me go ahead and read this, uh, this article which ultimately explains how Apple is leading its customers to the mark of the beast. Apple just unveiled its new take on an old innovation, a Goldman Sachs linked credit card called Apple Card. Now, if this is right, doesn't Goldman Sachs doesn't um, give you the heebie-jeebies, then you're just not paying attention. Uh, Goldman Sachs is the elite's um, number one hitman when it comes to econ uh, economy. So, if they're pushing something out, then this is this is a uh, been given by the orders of the 1% or the wicked kings that rule the world right now. Let me continue. Users can sign up through their iPhone and get access to the card in minutes when it becomes available in the US this summer. According to the tech giant's Monday presentation, the new card hinges on Apple Pay. The company's mobile payment and digital wallet service, which has made inroads in merchant acceptance since the inception in 2014. The, for situations where Apple Pay isn't accepted, the tech firm created a slick-looking minimalist titanium card. Uh, it just it has just your name etched with lasers without card numbers or other sensitive information. So let's go ahead and watch this video and I'll let you uh, get the gist of what how they're enticing people. Notice they also were, are using the titanium card, which for the most part was only used by the American Express, Express black card. But um, let's watch this. Brand new service, and we call it Apple Card. <laughs> Apple Card was created by Apple and built on principles that we stand for, like simplicity and transparency and privacy. To tell you all about Apple Card, I'm very pleased to invite up Jennifer Bailey, Vice President of Apple Pay. Jennifer? With Apple Card, we have completely rethought the credit card. A new kind of card that takes advantage of everything iPhone offers, is designed for a healthier financial life, and sets a new level for privacy and security. Apple Card is designed to take advantage of the power of the iPhone, 
this means it can do all sorts of things that no other credit card can do. For starters, you don't have to wait days to get your card. Just sign up on your iPhone, and in just minutes, you get your Apple Card, and you can start using it right away. You can use it worldwide and roll an Apple Pay. Get apps and store on the web, and your Apple Card will be available across all of your Apple devices. Apple Card is also always with you because it's in your iPhone, in the Wallet app. Completely new capability. And it's so eventually going to be in your you hand can. for the two thirds and the rest of the world that takes it. Now, I'm, I'm done with listening to both of these grandmas talk about. Uh, or these Edomite grandmas talk about how this is going to be a benefit for your life. You see, ultimately these devils, they're going to try every trick in the book to entice you with going with a digital currency, which is ultimately going to lead to a RFID microchip implant in your arms, or in your hands, or in your forehead. Something that you could carry around within your body that lets you carry around digital content. Now, there's going to eventually be some sort of false flag where uh, there, it's not going to be secure enough to carry around your phone or a watch or a ring. These devils are going to going to um, try to get this embedded in you. And the reason is, is because you see, once you take Esau's uh, mark you then become his property you see in the bible there's uh there's a story or there's a law that if you have a servant and if your servant is to be set free but he decides to not go free but to stay with you it is your responsibility to then draw drive in a yule through his ear into the uh, doorpost of the house which is a physical slash spiritual symbol tying that man to your household from for his life now this is the same thing that Esau is going to do he's gonna he's gonna try to get that spiritual yule uh, pierced into you and then also just tag you like cattle but let's read this uh, let's read this uh, scripture which explains why your body is a is the temple which the Holy Spirit of the Lord resides in this is first Corinthians 3 and 16 know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you if any man defile the temple of God him shall God destroy for the temple of God is holy which temple ye are so you see once you're your, your temple or your body is no longer holy to the point where it can't be redeemed you're basically going to be destroyed now another reason why Esau or the so-called Caucasians or the so-called white people want to do this is because ultimately they want to have full control over the world they already have economic control military control but they want omnipotence or omnipresence because uh, they want to be like God. They want to have that God-like power here on in their, in their kingdom or empire, which is fast, uh, fast coming to an end. Thank God. So this is Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. This is referring to the Edomites and actually and just their thoughts. Actually, here, Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. Actually, I'm sorry, 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except the coming, except there come a falling away first. This already happened in 70 AD during the destruction of Jerusalem. And the man of sin be revealed. This is also happening right now, because the man of sin is the is Edom being revealed for all the abominations they're doing. The son of perdition. And that's exactly what's happening. He's being revealed to be the destroyer of the world. Who opposes and exalts himself above all 
that is called God or that is worshipped so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God which is your body showing himself that he is God so this is the point so you see by Esau putting in this RFID chip into your body he has now for the most part made you cattle and just as you drive a stake through the ear of a cattle to mark it as your property Esau the Edomites the rulers of this world are also looking to get this done to the people of the world who they see as cattle you know? now this is already uh, ongoing process around the world it's happening in India and in China let's go and see how this Apple pay system um, works over and over in China they call it we pay I believe it's going out of fashion in China replacing it is the digital wallet so prevalent it's almost possible to get by with just your phone as long as it's loaded with the right app this is how many people in Beijing start their day breakfast on the go I'm going to get myself a TNT or crate for breakfast and instead of my purse I've got my phone like that and the next step is to look for the QR or quick response code two dimensional barcode designed to be read by mobile phone cameras to pay I simply open the app I want scan the QR code enter the amount and make the transaction Digital payment can be used almost anywhere for almost anything, from buying groceries to unlocking one of the city's shared banks. A recent survey suggests more than 70% of Chinese internet users think carrying cash is no longer necessary. So there you go. That's the, the reason why they want to move to the system is because they want to remove cash and they want to go to that cashless society the reason why they want to do that is so that way you are dependent and everything you do from renting a bike buying a crepe to uh, paying friends they want to know everything where you go what you buy what you sell as it tells you and that no man this is revelations 13 and 17 and that no man might buy or sell save that he had the mark uh, the this is Aaron Russo Aaron Russo was a famous movie uh, movie director who made some pretty good movies in the 80s and he ultimately uh, went up the uh, access ladder in Hollywood and he met Nick Rockefeller who he became friends with or really close acquaintances with and Nick Rockefeller being one of the uh, elites of this world the king the kings of this world hidden kings of this world the, the Edomite revealed to Aaron Russo what their plans for the world was Aaron's going to share this with us now, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R R an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be uh, in those chips. Right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller so this is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so not, instead of having cash, Anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. They say you owe us this much money in taxes. They just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do. What everything. You do. Everything is in there. Yeah. Now, this interview happened back in 2009, about 10 years ago now, a decade ago. And we've been seeing this warning uh, 
with Aaron Russo, you can see this fast approaching. Uh, now it's here in America. You're already starting to see people being chipped in Sweden, which is for sure filled with Edomites. And, and you're starting to see the chip slowly being adopted around the world. Uh, right now, just as a gimmick, but a usable gimmick. Now, for those out there who don't understand uh, what the idea is or what the big deal is, or don't realize why you shouldn't take this, let me go ahead and read the punishment for those who take the mark. It was Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name this is where you shall reside and where your body will burn in the lake of fire and the smoke will arise because we will be entering into the next age of man, which is going to be the fourth dimension, which is time. This moment, though if you're an Israelite, you'll be reborn into the kingdom of heaven. And you'll, you know, you'll come back as an Israelite and you'll, you'll be in, in, a ruler, in a rulership state. This moment here, where you have failed to pass the test that the Lord has set in front of you, either because this was your punishment, this is where you were led to because of things you've done in the past life, or because you took it upon yourself to take this mark. This moment will last forever, as it tells you. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night. So, hopefully this video was edifying, Nakiyam. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to my teachers, the Apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Kwame Asherala. Shalom.